Look at this little baby. Look at this little baby. Sure, it's beautiful here, but sure is so windy. I've never been somewhere that gets this windy. Kayla didn't sleep at all last night. It was so windy, and it kept waking me up too. I mean, it's the strongest gust of wind I've ever heard, hands down. Look at this gust coming through right now. Look at all these trees. But you know what I will say about it all is it's definitely a lot better than snow. So if you're wondering, you know, how's it going? How's it going living up there? It's now been three nights or four nights. I would give it a solid seven out of 10. Obviously the wind kind of makes things a little bit more difficult. Things are getting blown around everywhere. Everything needs to be tied down and it makes it a lot colder. And the other thing, the other thing is our water situation. We definitely need to like revamp our water situation in our bus because our big water tanks are on the other side of the property. So we need to build a water system for the bus because we have way too little right now. Look at these guys. Hey. What's up? Hi. Morning. 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 We already ran the loop. You already ran? Ran the whole loop. Oh, you're ready to get to work yeah. too? Yeah, we're beast mode. Oh, all right. Today is a big construction day. It might be a little in over our heads. Hola. Hola. Que pasa? Buenos días. How are Let's have it. This and this. This is the wood. You too, man. All right, just finished up our meeting. I think it's time to stop talking, time to stop planning, and finally try to build something. All right. What kind of fake chopsticks you have there? <laughs> <laughs> well, today's a big day because we're building a shed. This is our first real structure that we're building. We have all the materials. And I figure now's the right time for me to break out my tool belt. So official. Shout out to my mom because my mom bought this for Christmas. She bought and Kaylee. now... She bought Kaylee a purple one. Hopefully <laughs> Jordan won't freaking lose everything. She knows me too well. <laughs> So first things first, we need to mark out all the points where all of our posts are going to go. Because we're going to elevate the shed. We're going to elevate it up about three feet on its tallest point. So we're going to build a deck first and then the shed is going to be up on the deck. And it's really important to elevate a lot of things here because it gets so much moisture. They get over 120 inches of rain a year. So elevating everything stops things from flooding. It also stops a lot of rot. And this shed's going to house all of our batteries and we definitely want to keep it as dry as possible. Are those your new pants? My new pants. Your SpongeBob SquarePants? SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> SpongeDude SquarePants. <laughs> Look at that. It fits you perfect, man. Perfect. <laughs> Is this thing on? So these babies are going into the ground. And we're gonna fill them up with cement, and they're gonna be our footings for our one-day shed. Hello, Mr. Mumu. No. Okay. We'll get there. We'll get there, I promise. We're gonna be friends one day. You and me. Number 0414. Ooh. No, okay. That's fine. Well, you guys, this is it. This is what our deck is gonna look like. You can see the strings marking off. Exactly the size of the deck. We made sure it was all level with these little string levels. Make sure it was all square with Pythagorean's theorem. Thank you, Ms. Sears, my seventh grade math teacher who taught me about Pythagorean's theorem and I've never used it until working on a farm. Oh, 
smells so good in here. What did you make? Wow. Nice little breakfast sandwich. Look at all that ketchup. What am I going to do with all that? I'll use some of it. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome, but the best part. What's the best part? An extra dose of some morning, morning movement. movement, baby. It's time for, it's an after morning movement. After it's morning af movement. Afternoon movement. Afternoon, I said after morning. After, after morning, <laughs> same thing. I think this is probably one of the best things since moving up into the bus is having our kitchen back. So we don't have to leave at lunchtime, waste two hours going and getting lunch. I can come, cook up some lunch up here. Don't waste any Remember time. Remember how many fights we would get? We got in so many fights because <sighs> We'd come up here and an hour later, Kaylee would be hungry. And I'm <laughs> like, Kaylee, true. you have to prepare. I know, and I try. I bring apples, I bring granola bars, but it's never enough. So now we can actually make some hearty breakfast sandwiches and the best part, some coffee. <laughs> By the way, you guys, we do still have some morning movement available. So if you guys want to go get yourself a bag, I'll put a little link in the description below so you guys can go check it out. So I think the most fun part, but also the most time consuming and difficult part is that this is all so new to us. This is the first time that we're ever doing such a thing like this. So a lot of time is spent analyzing, thinking, preparing, and just triple checking everything to make sure we're doing it as best as we can. That feels good. I think that's a pretty damn good day's of work. Sorry, baby. Woo! Alright, bro. What is <sighs> Nothing like a nice cold beer after a hard day of work. Cheers, you guys. To Panama. To Panama. Panama, baby. Cheers. <laughs> Well, if I was to tell you these last few hours have been a struggle, it'd probably be an understatement. Not only because we've never done this before, that's not really the hard part. The hard part's the wind. Woo! The wind is so strong it's blowing everything from our guidelines to even these posts. And you can see we've had to build really high up forms so they don't move. But still, they're still pushing it. But we've officially gotten two of these forms done. We got this one right here, and this one right here, and now we have to do one over there, one over there, and then one in the middle. Do you, do you notice all the stuff all over your face, Arden? Yeah, I took a hammer and I put it right into a pile of concrete. <laughs> all right. And now it's uh. Maybe it's Kafi. Maybe it's Kafi's skin. Maybe we should like rub it. Concrete in. facials. Like exfoliate. No, I, don't th I, don't, I think it's not definitely not good for you. <laughs> so let me show you guys what we got going on. How we're doing this, first we're making some concrete and we're making it by taking one bag of cement, three buckets of sand, and one bucket of rocks. And we're mixing it together. And now we're just taking a few of these rocks and we're putting them in these wooden boxes that we built. These are forms. And the rocks, the job of the rock, is so when we t put these pillars in here, the rebar rests right on the rock so it keeps it elevated off the ground. This is the Panamanian way. This is how they told us how to do it. And now what we're gonna do is take this freshly poured concrete, put it into the form, and we're gonna keep piling it up like this until it's four-fifths of the way up. So 
my dad always told me that when I'm making concrete to make sure it looks like soft serve ice cream. What do you say? Ooh, yeah, baby. That looks a lot like, Speaking if it wasn't gray, if it was white, it would look delicious. Speaking of which, I think we might have to treat ourselves to a cone of ice cream after right. today's long day of work. You already work. talked about treating ourselves to ice cream. You talk, we, yesterday we treated ourselves to pizza. Then you talked about treating ourselves to other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> we, we deserve it. That's perfect. Okay. So now we just check to make sure it's all level and we use our guides as a square. Unfortunately, our guides are getting blown around in this wind. <laughs> you can't see your face, your and, beautiful face. And my hat gets blown off in this wind. <laughs> And now that that's nice and level on both sides, we're gonna take these little pieces of wood and screw them into place like this. <laughs> Done, baby. We did it! We've made the foundation for our first ever. First ever, first ever. <laughs> yeah. We made the foundation for our first ever structure. Love, I'm excited. There it is, you guys. There's the full view of our deck. 16 by 16 feet. And then we're gonna build a shed. The entrance is gonna be right about here. So you'll be able to walk right up. Here's your big old shed. And the back will have extra storage and a little place to take in that view. This is one of those moments right now, you guys. After finishing a few super hard days of work and then just taking this in, in this view. Look, there's even a cow over here. Right next to the tree over there. It's one of those moments that just feels so good knowing that you've been really productive and you're just making steps towards achieving those goals that you're going after, you know? You know what I'm talking about, Lola? You know those goals that you have? The goals about chasing little bunnies around the farm and chasing all the little cows? This is what they call Baja Reque. You see that? It like, kind of looks like rain, but it's a mist. And it's also sunny at the same time. If you look that way, there's blue skies. You can see the, like, there's literally a wall of where... The rain's coming in. Yeah. And that's the rain. And we're in the blue sky, so we get to watch all the rain just move through the valley right now. It wasn't complaining. Yeah, you were. I was just telling you how I felt. You are reiterating yourself? Reiterating. But when you say it like, I want ice cream, that's, that's complaining. That's how I said it. Yeah, what? You're just saying that on camera now to make me look bad. Alright, then say how you said it. I said, I'm not doing anything until we go get pistachio ice cream. That sounds like a whole bunch of complaining to me. My goal in life isn't to have six pack ads anymore. What's your goal in life? To be happy. You don't want six pack abs? You just want to be happy? You realize them that chips and salsa make you happier than six pack abs? 100%. And the ice cream we're going to go get after this. Oh, I see how you just did that. Well, you guys, I think there's only one way to properly end this vlog. And it's a little bit of this. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> this, by far, way better than having abs. <laughs> well, you guys, we got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. We're gonna build the platform for the shed. Mm -hmm. Gonna get some serious welding going. Mm -hmm. So that's what we'll have for you next time. So. We'll see you guys very, very soon. See you next time.